Well, the hotly contested race for Washington's public lands commissioner is only getting hotter. The intense recount is still on. The two candidates vying for the number two spot in the general election are separated by a mere 74 votes. As Fox 13's Lauren Donovan explains, today is the deadline for all 39 counties to produce their final counts. So today is the deadline for all 39 counties to do their final counts. Here we are 14 days post primary and we are still in it. If you ever wondered, does my vote matter? Well, this too close to call race is evidence it sure does. Republican scientist Sue Cole Peterson and Democrat King County Councilman Dave Up the Grove are neck and neck capturing the same exact percentage of the vote they, as you can see there, they're locked in at 20.82%. Now, over the weekend, there were roughly 15,000 votes outstanding. About a fifth of those had to be hand counted, but the majority had signature issues. And that prompted hungry candidates and their teams to go door to door, encouraging anyone with a ballot issue to fix it. While all that chaos unfolded, one candidate has cemented their spot in the general election this November, and that is Congresswoman Jamie Herrera Butler. You see her there. She tells me, at least to her recollection, this is the closest fought race the state's seen since Dina Rossi versus Christine Gregoire way back in 2004. Certainly, I think the legislature should look at ways to to tighten up how this is done. We've talked to a lot of the county auditors and they're working their tails off, but some of them don't have the same technology that others do. Some of them are smaller and don't have the funds that others do and they can't physically count every day, right? Political analysts say right now Herrera Butler is sitting pretty while the other two duke it out. She's got time to strategize. This last primary had a dismal turnout, especially for a presidential election year. Two million more Washington voters are expected to participate in November. And the analyst I spoke with says the candidate that really captures their votes will come out on top. And then also worth noting, you know, if two Republicans advance, they'll have to work hard to capture the support of Democrats left without a candidate. As for when exactly this race will be called, an automatic recount was triggered because of this razor thin margin separating the two. So just because all 39 counties are turning results in today, that does not mean this is all over and done with. It could still take a week or more to figure this out. Reporting in the newsroom, Lauren Donovan, Fox 13 News.